Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Hi, how, how you doing? Oh, let's put the music on. <sighs> Why? Why'd you bonk me? I didn't even start. We're not even officially started yet. Mm, hold on. Hello? Oh god. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you heard that. I hope not. Have I ever played animal coughing? Dude, animal animals cough. <coughs> Anyways, so no bonks. How you doing? This is going to be a short stream. I, I think I mean it this time. Maybe. Uh, last time, last week, we did a short, quote unquote, short stream. And that lasted about three to three and a half hours. So that was not, uh, you know. Am I still sick? No. <clears throat> no, not at all. I just cough all the time when I'm nervous. <coughs> or when I'm hyper aware of coughing. Is anybody like that? Lately, I have been... I mean, I guess since the pandemic started, Jelly and I and our roommate when she was here. Uh, hey, thanks for subscribing, Zarquinkin. <clears throat> when we... when the, the pandemic started, and whenever we wanted to go out, because we don't have a car, so we take lifts and, and Ubers everywhere. And you know, Uber and Lyft had this very strict rule that they had to enforce, where you had to wear a mask and you're not allowed to sit in the front. Uh, but being so hyper aware of COVID makes me cough involuntarily <coughs> while I'm in the car. So... The dude would be driving, and literally right behind him would be a dude just going, <coughs> So. Yeah. That, that would, that would freak me out. I, I cough to avoid awkward silence. You cough like that, you're going to sh straight to the COVID zone. Dulick. Yippee. Yippee, thanks for subscribing. Would you like to check out my new song? It's not quite spooky, but it's stuff up on my old stuff. Yeah, alright. <clears throat> but yeah, how's everyone? Biru's asleep. And but, but like, for real this time. She's asleep on a bed. Uh, and I think she'll stay asleep for a little while. So she probably won't be bothering us for another, like, hour or so. <clears throat> But yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyways. Here's, uh, let's listen to Alyssa's song for a little while. Alright. Goose suggestion. Monument Mythos. Ugh. I feel like Monument Mythos, you have to, like, you have to invest your time in. And I, I just don't feel like doing that. You remind me of Danny Gonzalez mixed with Blame It on George with the voice of Jarvis Johnson. People keep saying I sound like certain YouTubers. And I'm going to call you out right now. I don't sound like anyone. At least not the people you suggested so far. Oh, Jesus. Thanks for subscribing. Shadow Harbinger 13. Why did it come up twice? Oh, by the way, mods, I got rid of, uh, I got rid of Streamlabs modding, so it's now up to you. And Streamlabs is, has been very tyrannical for, like, ever, so, we're, we're done with that. <coughs> Alright, sorry, I gotta stop this. Everyone, if you if you want to check out uh, Alyssa's music, go ahead and put it. But I wanted to hear this guy's voice. I never I never heard of Jarvis Johnson. Does he sound like me? 
Let me know in the comments down below. I've got a hypothetical for you. Let's say a wizard traps you in a dungeon and forces you to create the next big internet content farm. What'll you make? Life hacks, ridiculous moral stories like an Adar Man video, maybe animated. Guys, I do not sound like that. I do not sound like that. Are you serious? Oh, wait, hold up, sorry. It's not working for some reason. Uh. Oh, do I not have YouTube? Why is it not? No, not display cap. Jesus, I really suck at this. Hold up. Should be Opera. Wrong one. <clears throat> uh, there you go. I should probably close all of my opera tabs since this is a stream and you guys don't want to see my Daphne porn. You guys are not ready for that. All right. Does he sound like me? It's stories. Do you still have a Discord? If so, you how do, do I join? Of them. This Sub. is a content farm. We don't discriminate. Today we're talking about Fabiosa Better World, which <laughs> sounds like it was named by an artificial intelligence. In fact, the whole- If I squint my ears hard enough, yeah. I don't sound like this guy at all. <clears throat> yeah, keep trying, motherfuckers. Maybe eventually you'll find someone I sound like. You sound like Velma. You said Velma is better, my man? No, I didn't say Velma. Wait. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. I mixed the two. I fuck them both. Whatever. Have you been talking? No. Not at all. I sound like Joe Biden. Listen here, fat. <laughs> what a dick. Are icebergs okay or not? Nah, no. Nah, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... F fucking satisfy your fetish anymore, bootleg. We're not doing icebergs today. I still want to work. I actually, I, my mind, sorry if I'm not as talkative, but my mind is still on working right now because I there's a lot that's been going on with the Garfield thing and I really want to check it out and all that stuff. But at the same time, I haven't given you guys anything in a week. So I, I want to get back. I want to get back to it. And I want to get back to, you know, watching spooky shit with you. So... Have I seen the Gilbert Garfield game? I don't think I've seen it, but I don't think I've shown it on stream, which we'll talk about just before I take suggestions. Uh, dude, my cat vomited, and she's an asshole. The second thing that happened today was okay. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Jelly and I were currently separate. We're we're no longer living together for a month. Because uh, they're off to college in California. I'm stuck here. Uh, they'll be back in August and we'll live together again happily as a couple. But right now, we're not. So I'm just taking care of the house with Biru all by myself. So there you go. But one thing I didn't notice, and it's been 17, no more than that. How long, What day is it today? The 19th? We're about 24 days since Jelly has left. Uh, and I found fucking, because here's the thing you don't know about Jelly, is that Jelly has a bad habit of getting a drink and not finishing it, right? Even if they order, like, a small, they don't finish it. So, it's been 24 days now since they've left, and I found this fucking rancid coffee... On their table. Now, I didn't open the coffee. I didn't open the coffee lid. But, man, when I picked it up, that shit was chunky. I threw it away. And I was wondering, why are there flies in the house? I've taken care of the house. I washed the dishes. I've thrown away the trash. Why the fuck is there flies? I'm assuming... There have been flies coagulating around that uh, little coffee can, making it their little Vista for a little bit. So, that, yeah. That sucked. 24 days. Uh, probably longer than that, because I don't remember, like, ordering coffee with jelly. 
just before they left. So it's it's probably it's probably been a few weeks. What an asshole. Anyways, let's talk about Gilbert Garfield. Ba 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 Gilbert Garfield. Ba 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 Gilbert Garfield. I got that song stuck in my head. All right. Now, we've already talked about Gilbert Garfield like at least 30 times now. So, if you haven't been part of these streams since we talked about them, you're going to have to look back. But, long story short, someone made an ARG of Gilbert Garfield. It's a Garfield-Gilbert hybrid. It's kind of funny. It's kind of weird. Whatever. Not many updates have happened since this right here. I think we've shown it already. Not many updates have happened since then. Oh, wait. I forgot to totally... Ah, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, so, uh, if you're a follower, you guys don't need to, uh, sub for some of the emotes. Uh, I, I put some of the emotes from the tier one, uh, emotes list to the followers list. Just because I, I like those emotes a lot, and I, it'd be ashamed if not a lot of you use them. So, you got, you guys got Biru, you guys got the PogChamp, because I really fucking love the PogChamp one, I'm really sad that they got rid of it just because the guy had a dumbass opinion. Um, and yeah, uh, there you go. Enjoy them. Everything else you got to pay. You want to be my, you want to, you want to have a parasocial relationship with me? You got to pay for that shit, motherfuckers. All right. Anyways, we know this update and then uh, a newer update. You, oh, thank you for subbing, Orang. Um, newer update. The guy actually found a way to run the ROM. So let's take a look. Sorry, that that fucking part always. And the dog fucks the cat, and the cat fucks the boy, and the boy fucks the dog. I'm in, I'm in. I love that. That's so true. I don't know how real this is. Uh, I, I'm assuming it's not an actual you know, game. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure most of it is just, like, sprite work, like, animation. Um, because you see him actually, like, he's going at a normal walk speed here. Right? And then he gets, like, a slower walk speed. I don't know if it's because he ate that little lasagna or Big Z. But yeah, he's, like, slower walking. I don't know. The, the walking speed just seems inconsistent. And then he does this shit. I don't know what the little blobs are supposed to be at all. Hey, I love you too, listening. Let's keep up this parasocial relationship. Might be a bit loud, sorry. Cat Jam. There you go. That's that's it. That is that. Uh, now I made this suggestion, but if you don't if you don't know the TikTok, you probably don't know why I made this suggestion. I don't know where my where's my Steam Deck, Stream Deck. That's what it is. Uh, let's go to the TikTok real quick. I'll show you. Why I I came Guys, up with the solution that I did. I I have an idea. Oh this. god, this stupid TikTok website is so bad. What is it? Man, what? Uh, following? No. Oh wait, I think it's right here. Oh, Grintly. So, we go on TikTok. You see that there's a, a account called Grintly. Uh, it's actually acquired quite a following. 
uh, these past couple of days. And these have been basically just replays of this whole channel just spliced together and edited really weird, so. So it's just clips. Um, and then this happens. The thumbnails kind of like Dolly mini things. It's funny you mention that. Because if we go to the website, you'll see a lot of those. So anyways, he uploaded some really interesting ones right here. So it's Konami. He's got this Konami thing, and all this shit's happening and whatever, but it's backward, you notice, right? And it says right here, you can't read it, but it says, look in the mirror, take stock of your life. Okay. Another Konami thing. It's also backwards. Then we get a brief flash of that uh, last screen that we saw on this video. Also, yeah, the sprite is right there. Uh, so I suggested, since it's the uh, the Konami is being shown everywhere, I suggested is it the Konami code, but backwards. So, guess what? The guy liked it, and he said that sounds good. So, now we're just waiting. We're just basically waiting till he does that, and he records that and uploads it. Oh my god, Biru's sticking her tongue out right now. She's kind of in the daze. We'll see where it goes. Hey, Goose, it's been a long time since I tuned in. Like a year may be cool as fuck to see how many viewers you're getting lately. Currently dealing with the heat wave in England. And holy shit, it feels like I'm getting Batista bombed by a hairdryer. Sorry. Sorry for everyone in uh, Europe who are currently on fire. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you guys are on fire. Keep it up. You're burning fat, so at least there's that. Have you heard of mouse looping? When you search YouTube, uh, shows videos of animals being killed. I don't know if I need to censor it on Twitch. Obviously, we need to censor that on Twitch. Something spooky I learned about recently was the story of Ava Perrin's uh, dead body, especially the story of when it was positioned. Colonel Carlos Eugenio. Do you want to hear it or not? Nah? Uh, if you can find a video, maybe. All right. Uh, what is it? Mouse? Mouse loop? By the way, that's all the updates there is to the Garfield thing. It's nothing. Nothing else has happened. What is it? Mouse looping? Yeah, mouse looping. Oh my god. Glitch cat. Glitch cat? Well, thanks for subscribing, Void Raven. I'm actually going to mute the desktop audio. Uh... It's nothing. All right. All right, suggestions. Let's go. You were working at a hot Amazon warehouse when I found out that I reviewed one of your videos? Uh, dude, I don't even remember, but hey, I'm glad that happened. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry you're working at Amazon, though. Weird channel that is weird. All right, let's go. Uh, Chris Cartoon Channel. I don't know if requests, I don't know if you're taking requests, but I have one. Okay, yeah, start giving me requests, y'all. Actually, yeah, just give me a ton of requests, and we'll just start going through them. Old school. Do some petite tube. Nah, I'm, I'm t sick of petite tube. We, we did it last time, we just got like 30 videos straight of just homeowners insurance. 
Okay, we got a... Ooh, what the fuck is this? Oh, I think we saw this video last year, maybe? Flexi Pen, thanks for subbing. Um, my air conditioner is downstairs. Broke when I go down. I feel like I'm through a sick circle of hell. Sorry about that. Man, everyone really is on fire. Uh, it's 100 degrees where I live right now. So, I'm, I'm with you on the whole, it's hot as fuck. Uh, Reddit weird websites. Ooh. Seraphim Strawby. Thanks for subbing. I don't know if you can still find that on YouTube, but I recall seeing some... St- uh, videos of Stamper doing some urban exploration. It's pretty fucked up because you can see how off he's acting and such. I'm like, oh yeah, man. We should talk about that. Is he... Oh my god, Stamper... Wait, hang on. Stamper was arrested? Stamper was fucking arrested? Are you kidding me? I guess, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, funny ones. I don't know what the fuck that is. Alright, something like this. Deeper yet deeper. Ooh, this seems interesting. I think we saw this also. It's been a while. I can't think of any suggestions because I get an all of my obscure horror and strange media from you. <laughs> well, yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, well, we have a few. Uh, until we get more, I'll just settle for these for now. Finish an iceberg. Nah. If if we can't find anything, we'll do that. Oh, sorry. I forgot about this. Uh, stream is starting now. This is the second stream I've caught. Not sure what videos you've seen or not, but here's a suggestion. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It takes a while to watch that, so I'm not going to watch. Uh, but y'all should check out Teaching Jake about the camcorder. It's pretty good. Goose iceberg. Let's let's make a goose. Somebody actually made a goose iceberg a few years ago. Um, I'm not sure if they're keeping up to date with that, but I don't I don't know if those people still like me because <laughs> they were part of the server. I, I I know a few of them were part of the server, and now they made an anti server for me. Oh, I don't know. I don't know actually. Who who made the iceberg? I just know there are particular ones that probably don't like me now. Mossy bonus. Thanks for the sub. All right. Let's go ahead and start watching some stuff. Okay, so. Uh, let's watch this one. It's called Chris Cartoon Channel. I don't, it doesn't seem weird, but the titles seem weird. Okay. Cosmos the Parrot Man Jr. Majora's Mass 3D Goat Boss 2. So they're all sort of titled like that. Doesn't it's not off-putting by itself. A lot of people sort of, you know, title shit like that when they don't know what they're doing. Camp animals, kids under the sea. What the fuck is this? Oh, boys vert. Yeah, well, we talked about boys vert. All right. Well, this is for YouTube kids, I guess. Uh, Let's see what else he's got. How about this? A, A crazy squirrel lady? Sure. Why not? Have we seen this one? Oh, I th- I don't think we've seen that one. Uh, how about okay? Sorry, I just realized there's no noise. Uh, how about now? This is like a kid recording random crap. It does seem like that. I I don't think there's anything creepy about that at all. 
I actually, I there was some, uh, there were some people who were actually telling me why I was avoiding the idea. So I, I made the whole. If you're not subscribed to my channel, by the way, uh, I made a video where I talked about uh, a certain artist who seems to be drawing the same thing over and over again. Sam, uh, Sammy Ways. Uh, and I had a few people who actually asked me, why aren't you suggesting that it might be autism? Because that that's for a lot of people, it seemed like that's what it was. Also, by the way, I love that everyone is like, oh, it's Goose doesn't know what he's talking about. It's clearly just a normal person doing an art project. But then we have other people that are like, it's very clearly autism or like, it's very clearly schizophrenic. My cousin has schizophrenia. I think this is what schizophrenia is. Or like, it's just clearly, if it's clearly all those things, then it's clearly none of those things, motherfuckers. That's why it's a mystery. Everybody is on their high horse being like, oh, it's clearly this thing or that thing. If, if all of you have different ideas of what it is, then it's clearly not what you think it is. Like, I, I, I hate it when I saw all those comments saying all that shit. It's obviously not. That's why I made a video on it. But anyways, there there were some people who were like, oh, why don't you just say it was autism because that's what it looked like. Well, first of all, I don't know. I, you know, a lot of people came up with the different theories anyways, so. Uh-oh, beer's awake. And secondly, I don't want to per uh, perpetuate the idea that weird stuff equals autism or like creepy stuff equals autism i don't i don't want to ostracize certain people for being that way you know and make it seem like it's creepy content it could be but i don't know goose feed the cat uh i already did like how people think that autism affects everyone the same way there's no way you're autistic you make eye contact with me all the... Yeah. That's the other thing is, like, I can't just say it's autism because it, autism is so diverse. It, it's it, it's not a monolithic thing. It, you can't just say, you know, it, it's one thing when it, it could be other stuff entirely, you know? So, anyways. I don't know if you... I don't know if beer is going to bug me, but we'll see. Uh, Stamper. We'll talk about that later. Let's look at this Asian shit. Oh, this is Vietnamese. <laughs> Wait, what the? F How? What the fuck? Oh, this is YouTube Shorts. How does this work? It's so weird that it would scroll to a completely different video and not to the next video. I just don't understand, like, why Why won't it just go to the next video of the person's channel? I want to binge this guy's content, why can't we just do that? I can't even see shit, honestly. But. Uh-oh, she's rolling around on her little tummy. Uh, how's, what about this one? These are, uh, pretty weird. Although, did anybody talk about them? I have a feeling this was covered by a different channel before. Oh yeah, here it is. I knew it. Our boy already covered it. What does he have to say? Hello guys and gals, me real quick. Maybe it's an all Yeah, I'm pretty sure Rainbot also covered it. Into the comment section. Let's actually play on this video. Oh, oh, oh. That was probably the most chilling video that I've seen. Like, I'm sorry, when you're like zooming in that fast to somebody, like, granted, it's only four fucking seconds long, but the audio like completely startled me to begin with. That, that shit is without a doubt some, some weird stuff. It is. Let me tell you. <laughs> like, I can see why this got the most viewed. Hmm. But I don't think he's really going to say anything, is he? It's an enigma. It's hard to really say what it is. 
I think, well, we watched this like a year or two ago. I remember we said that it might be just some sort of performance thing. I mean, the fact that it... Okay, wait, 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 hang on. Beer's on the... Beer's on the keyboard. I don't know what's going on. All right, ready, Beer? Ready, ready? Go get it. Throwing her snacks. Okay. See, and the, the thing that really, like, enhances the fact, or, or strengthens my theory that it's just a performance thing, is this channel's been up for, like, five fucking years now. Go get it, I, I don't think YouTube would let this slide, and especially not when, you know, Muda talks about it and nobody does anything. Like, it, there's no way. I just don't understand what it it's trying to convey, but yeah, yeah. It's a creepy channel, but I don't think there's much to it, so. Thanks for subbing, Jawdass. Uh, isn't that ARG where the guy was house-sitting for the old lady who, who locked up her dog and had a doll that moved? What? I have no idea what that is. Fun fact, if you watch any Muda video where he has the slightest amount of energy, pause on any frame, you can get an uh, exceptional reaction image. I'm not going to do that. Uh, Chez.com, Kids2000. We, we already talked about Boys Bird. Sorry, guys. The creepiest thing about the channel is the fact that there's a YouTube short from three. Well, I, I think YouTube converts all short videos. Like, like It has to be like around a few seconds. Uh, all videos that are like about... Jesus that are about 10 to a minute long and are vertical, uh, they're all converted into shorts automatically. So th that's why this video right here, it's seven seconds long, or this one that's 29 seconds long, it's not considered a short because it's not vertical. But if it were vertical, then yeah, it's a short. It's, it's weird. Have you seen the online community of teenagers reviewing police radios? You can find videos of searching the equipment number. It's weird because I don't know how to buy them. It's illegal to own and sell them. Have you also seen Brain Job? It's not scary, but it's funny. No, then no. Goose, the original Crimes of the Future movie is on YouTube for free, and it's better than the remake. That sucks. Want to see it? What the fuck is Crimes of the Future? This channel is weird, and there are multiple versions of this channel. All right, let's check it out. It's a regular show. Hop on police radios legally, but it's illegal to broadcast. So I won't do it. Ooh, weird Japanese channel. Oh, that does seem cool. Let's watch Japanese ghosts. I'll be honest, it's spooky sounding, but... Other than that, uh, I don't see any reason why it would be that special. If they're all like this, I'm out. This one might be pretty vanilla, but have you covered this website that records plane crashes? It's more sad than creepy, but yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Fucking... Jelly's gonna get on a plane in like two weeks. I am not gonna make myself that anxious. Yeah, they're, they're probably industrial, experimental industrial music. Uh, sure, let's say that. I don't think there's anything that substantial with any of these at all. Yeah, fuck this. All right, let's see this one. This is a channel called Ah. Hey, Biru, what do you want to say anything? She actually muted the mic. Can you believe that? She's not talking anymore. 
What's wrong, baby? What's what's uh, what's a happening? Hello? Hold on, hold on. What if we what if we do this? Hold up. Oh, what is this? Let's open this up. Ghost boss. Hey, what's up? Cryptic invasion. Oh, cat invasion. Well, I'm glad you guys are using the Biru emote. I checked the uh, analytics. Not a lot of people use the Biru emote, so now everyone is using them. Hang on. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm a little tentacle monster. Hey, Biru. You wanna say something? You, you wanna say something? Ash is really just quiet. Hi, Satan. Hi. Have you been doing your homework? Alright. I have this other way hang on. Let's see. Hey. Uh, actually, this one just clarifies my voice. It doesn't really do anything special. Hey, stop bonking me. How about... Uh, how about this one? Hello. Uh. That was dumb. Yippee. Hey, thanks for that donation. Wait, that was a yippee. No, that wasn't a donation. Sorry. Uh. Hi. Oh, this is cool. I'm like an yeah. old timey radio man. Now from the 1940s, come. Old fashioned yeah. style. All right, listen for this. Well, uh, let's continue. Asian stuff. Goose analog. Well, that was nothing. How about this one? Oh, let's just fucking play them all. What the fuck was that? Nothing? It's just the dude recording like 15 seconds of his life. You know what I just realized? He's actually recording people's license plates. Huh. Look, 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 it's just, it's just people's license plates. Wait a minute. His victims? No, no, no. I doubt it. How about this one? The sky. Alright. Uh, it's just the sky. Okay. What thing is that? I... I don't know what you could be doing this for. I literally thought that was in the video. I've never heard that one before. Use 15 bits to play a scream. <laughs> I never... I forgot that you guys could do that. Oops. Um, I literally thought that was... I, that would have made this channel so much more interesting than it, it really is. You gave me false fucking hope, motherfucker. Translate the titles. Come. Ooh, weird Indonesian videos. I'm I'm skeptical about Indonesian videos because they could end up just being straight up death. Alright. Pull it up. Oh, this one. Oh, it's old school as fuck. I love it. Hold up. Oh, what? Okay. So, alright. The title translates to Mass Stalker Frequent Damage. I'm, I'm assuming that's that's not the correct translation. Obviously, there's something wrong with it. But that is still a weird title nonetheless. And it's for YouTube kids. Hi, Goose. I'm late, but I'm here. Hey, what's up? Don't worry. We've, uh, yet to find anything 
interesting. This one with the the license plates. All right. Anybody who's like familiar with like true crime or something, why do you think he's getting license plate numbers? He's probably doxing people with their license plates. In Japan, you really got to dox people in Japan. You could just look at, out your front door. You're probably living next to a celebrity. Not be right. Look, he says. Okay, he says it like multiple times now in this one. Group stalker damage, group stalker murder, Sukimotoi assault, injury case, group stalker. As most of you know, I got the coronavirus after eating ass. But what you don't know is that it was my own ass. I'm, so, I'm afraid to look at the images. Okay. The images don't help. It's like nothing. Nothing at all. Don't stare at the moon. No, we already watched that. Have you checked out this place? Is not happy? No. Check this out. No. Here's a short uh, video covering the events around the dead body. What dead body? Wait, what? <laughs> what dead body? Uh... Dead body reported. No idea what this is, but I recommended this a while ago. Okay, how about this? Sega. All right, hold on. I'm still curious about this one. I don't know. I, I just don't understand why he would... Does group stalker mean this person is paranoid and thinks these cars are following him? Oh, shit. You might be right. You might be right. I don't want to default to mental illness until we find substantial evidence of that kind of shit. But I'm, I I would not be surprised if this guy just seems paranoid. He seems to be going to the same 7-Eleven every fucking time, by the way. Is that him? No. Is he just, like, recording people outside of the 7-Eleven? Gang stalking? Did you check the description? No, there's nothing. Nothing. Just nothing at all. Also, the channel is just called Ah. Like, just Ah. That's it. They have 7-Eleven in Japan? 7-Eleven is the biggest fucking thing in Japan. It's bigger than here in America. And they're really well done, too. Very clean, organized. It's cool. They actually do delivery. 7-Eleven does delivery in Japan. It's cool. What's up with the same truck? It's probably his truck. Oh my god, how many videos? How many fucking videos? Holy shit! It's like every fucking time he drives, it's just a new video. Most popular is 2K views, there's nothing. And it's probably in YouTube Kids, so we can't get any comments. He's just recording people's, like, license plates, and that's it. Even the police. Okay, so... I'm starting to suspect there's something going on. I don't think he's a stalker. I think he thinks there are people stalking him. Like someone mentioned, I think this guy is just paranoid as shit. And literally thinks that everyone is out to get him. A paranoid old dude. Yeah, maybe. He's been doing this for three years. How many videos are here? I wish... <coughs> I wish YouTube could give you a statistic like... How many videos somebody's uploaded? They used to do that. But look at this, look at this. It's just a bunch of... Just a bunch of fucking... Videos of other people's cars. Why is it YouTube Kids, too? Like, that's the thing I don't... Maybe it's because it just automatically converted that... And he just didn't... Oh, UFO! UFO! He caught a UFO. There it is. That's so weird. Some people who believe they are being gang-stalked... Well, what the fuck? Wait, what is gang-stalked? Is that an actual term? 
Uh, people who believe they're being gang stalked will obsessively record anything they view uh, to be a form of targeted harassment. Sometimes they think it's color harassment or certain hand signs. I've never heard of gang stalk before. What is that? Gang stalk is the belief that you're being tracked by an organization. Oh, so that's what that's called. I see. He definitely thinks the government's after him. I don't mean to insult anyone. Yeah, look at this. See? I don't mean to insult anyone. But what makes people think that they're so special that they're worthy of being stalked? Like, I wonder how that develops in your mind. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mean... I seriously don't mean it in an offensive way. Like, I just want to know, like, what... I, ser I seriously just want to know why they think that they're being stalked for some reason. This gang stalking paranormal has a huge presence on YouTube. People think that they're... Uh, the world is out to get them and any mundane thing is assigned to operators. I think uh, gang stalking was like in here... Wait, what? Uh, when a gang gets mad at you and wants to get even and stuff. Probably. Didn't Etika get gang stalked? I don't think he got gang stalked. I think he thought he was being stalked by someone he, like towards the end of his uh his life he just started doing a bunch of well he, he had bipolar right and uh you know i don't want to villainize bipolar disorder like what he did but with uh, people don't understand is that oftentimes people mix up bipolar disorder with schizophrenia and that's because they act they, they both share the traits of manic manic paranoia right uh, but the, the difference is that with bipolar is that that manic episode usually ends with a very low low. So these guys often get like a high fucking high. Like they think they're God. They get a God complex. They believe they're higher than everyone, that they're better than everyone. They're, they're much smarter. They're just a higher being more than any other person. Uh, but then that bipolar disorder, the, 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 the thing that makes it bipolar is that you go from that all the way down to the bottom where you think you were lower than shit and that you're just not worth it at all. And that is unfortunately what might have happened with Etika. I mean, it is what happened. It's a sad thing. Alright, little Biru is, uh... Being a little... Do you think you're getting gang stalked? Is that it? Ah, you bit me, you fuck! Ah, there you go. I'm trying to make her calm down. Uh, alright. I just finished Stray. Your cat is making me want to start it again. Okay, I want to play Stray. But I want to know, does the cat get murdered? Like, is there game overs where the cats can die? Is I don't want to play stray if that if that can happen. I get emotional with that kind of shit. All right. Stray just came out today. I don't think the game. No, it came out today. Did you get the video? Or, I don't know what video you're talking. There's so many videos going on right now. Be ready. Ready. Go get it. Warrior Cats, the game. Oh my god, Warrior. Everybody read Warrior when I was a kid. And then all of them just became furries. I've never... What is this? What is this bootleg? Alright, well, let's wrap it up here. Uh, it's it's very hard to tell why this guy is recording everything. It, it, it's most likely he thinks he's being gang stalked. I mean, part of the translation is that he is... Look... Where is it? Oh, I guess it. Oh, is it right here? Group stalker. Yeah, he he basically thinks that people are after him. That that's just it. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> Anyways. He, he uploads like hundreds a month. That's sad. All right. Next one. Uh, we'll watch that in a bit. Let's watch this. 
Bootleg gave us this one. Let's see what it is. El golpe del 55, el cuerpo de Vita permanece en el primer piso de la CGT. El general Leonardo. It's a video covering the strange events around Ava's dead body. Stuff like exorcism, the kidnapping, and everything. Este golpe de estado decide no innovar en la materia. It's in Spanish. Pero cuando Leonardo es desplazado por considerarlo blanco, I'm not going to translate all this. Algunas ideas del peronismo y asume realmente es que todo el gorila de la revolución libertadora encabezado por Aramburu y por Rojas decide en sí intervenir y se produce entonces este episodio increíble, macabro, sin precedentes probablemente en la historia argentina y con pocos en la historia mundial de la orden de parte de las autoridades máximas del país, Aramburu y Rojas, de producir el secuestro del cadáver de Eva Perón. El 23 de noviembre. I don't even know who Ava is. Who the fuck is that? Who's a Fida? I don't even know who that is. De cinco, un grupo de militares secuestra el cadáver de Eva Perón. Los hombres Ava que cumplían Perón? órdenes expresas del Perón? presidente de la nación. You know the big lady? Who the fuck is the big lady? I don't know who the fuck Ava Perón is. I gotta look at their face. They'll probably help. Nope, I don't know who this is. Yippee! I don't know the fuck the big lady. All right. Well, you guys watch this. I'm gonna play with Biru for a bit. So tell me if I missed anything. The, the subs are all in Spanish. So. Tion. Fuck it. I'll just Pedro put it on. Eugenio Aram. Estaban uh, al mando del teniente coronel Carlos Eugenio Moricoy. Los Enemigos del pueblo en el poder hablaban barbaridades de Eva Perón y por otro lado de que el cadáver sería o incinerado o arrojado al mar por la marina. No es incinerado, tampoco arrojado al mar, ni fundido en un bloque de cemento. Cuando lo roban, le cortan un dedo para tomar las huellas digitales. So how's everyone? Oh, this is real dead body photos. Oh shit, oh shit! There she goes, there she goes! Oh, she's not chasing it, okay. When the body is stolen, the finger's cut off. All right, I, I'm, I've lost interest. How about this one? There's just fucking green hill zone. What the fuck is creepy about this? Who the fuck sent this? Oh shit, this. Okay, well. Sorry. Spoiled it. This feeds my autism. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need to have like a deep and serious conversation. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Oh, I okay, can I have a deep and serious conversation right now? Can I say like, if is anybody a Sonic fan here? Like legitimately, like a Sonic fan. Like you love Sonic, you love all the games. You're an apologist. You're basically like LS Mark but not 12, like an actual an adult. Okay, so we got one person that said yes in all exclamation marks, all caps. What is it about Sonic? That, yeah, exactly. What about Sonic that makes, that, that attracts so many, let's say, unique individuals into the fan base? Okay. Hi, okay. my name is Reggie. I like guys. I really like guys. There's just something about them. I like their touch, their smell, their taste. 
Anyways, I just need to know. The answer is furries. I can't. No, no, no. Hang on. Star Fox didn't attract that many fucking people that are like that. Right? Banjo Kazooie neither. So it's not that. It's it's not that. There's something about Sonic that like triggers something in you. Banjo fans are boomers? Well, what the fuck does that make Sonic fans? That shit came out way earlier. Honestly, it attracted me because of Dragon Ball Z. What the fuck? Sonic has nice feet, sure. I just don't understand why it, it has attracted probably the, the most unique fan base out of every other fan base. Because, like, seriously? I can't figure it out. It's the memes? Yeah, I don't know. We'll never know. Oh, well. Probably his tummy. <laughs> All right, here comes the big spooky. Right, then it pause it, right? Okay. I know you're recording this, Eric. Oh, I hope you won't. I hope you know it won't save you. It won't make your parents believe you. I've heard them speaking to you. I remember as a kid playing Sonic Heroes and Shadow the Hedgehog, but anytime it got brought up outside of school or at a friend's house, I automatically tried not to get involved. A kid brought Sonic Underground for the class to watch and just turned my chair around and didn't watch it. W why? Why are you so anti-Sonic? By the way, this is gay. All right, what else? Uh, we got this. This fucking, uh, uh, classic video. Y'all seen this video? A little fucking gremlin shows up in this video. Oh, spoilers. recorded in possibly the worst resolution. This is not even 144. At this point in history, this is just before. This is featured in the <laughs> 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 the fucking vine boom was so so on time. <laughs> Sorry, the more I think about it, the more it's funnier. By the way, they're singing is so shit. Even if you don't know the language, it's shit. There's probably some person with a birth defect with those born with backwards legs. What, like a chicken? He's not a chicken boy. I like how he's saying, like, oh shit, look at that, it's a spooky demon. And he's like, what? 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 They're just trying to keep the vibe alive. This is shot on a fucking IG phone. Oh, LG, sorry. What's up, the logo? Shit. A 2024 GMC Hummer. Whose fucking video is this? All right, that was them. Oh uh, look, it's a whole weird, obscure videos playlist. Let's start with this. I've never seen this one. So what is this? 
Do you know user 643? No, I don't. <laughs> there are so many users named like that, I, I don't know. Like spooky users, I mean. J K N J G G E A R. The video address. Well, since we're gonna participate in another ARG, why not? Uh, wh why don't we join another ARG? Just for old times' sake. Could you put sugar in the water? Just a little bit. I can't fucking read that. J G. V P A I T B Ah, oh, fuck off. Wait, did I put it on wrong? Luckily, I can't read. Yeah, the video is not available anymore. Sorry. Oh, they have more. From the ago. I never heard anyone talk about this shit before. What is this? Maybe you have to decipher it. Well, I mean it's been seven years. I don't I don't think it matters anymore. We're not gonna fucking solve this anytime soon. So, let's just watch Nightmine's video on this. On board the ship or inside the structure, we have seven sectors and three subjects. Two of these subjects are dead. Only one is left alive. The remaining subject hasn't made Bro, reference to themselves crazy. in the messages. We can entertain the idea for now that the broadcaster may be a separate being from the living subject. The broadcaster is also targeting a woman named Helen. They really Bro, want that's to get crazy. Helen's attention. All right, I forgot that uh, Nightmind is a furry, so we're not watching that. Crazy boring. Night, you know Nightmind. My heart. I loved her. Wah. Anyways, Nightmind, man, I love him. He's a great guy. And that's that. But no, I'm <laughs> just kidding. I don't know. I don't know anything about him. But he's a good guy. Check user 64,342 inches on YouTube for some spooky cringe. Less than three. Where the fuck are you finding these? All right. Um, but yeah, no, Nightmind's great and all. But dude, he covers literally everything. Everything. Like, every single ARG he gets his paws on, he will do it. Doesn't matter if it's good or not. All right. This one seems edgy. I'm gonna lower the uh, the the little noises you guys are making because they're starting to get very loud. So, holy shit! This is relatively new. Holy crap! It goes pretty deep. All right. Let's start with the first one, then let's go to the last. I made a new friend or backwards. last night. Is that what all the commotion was? Yes. They are really nice but super shy. They haven't hardly said a word to me. But hey, I thanks for subbing. Go oh, hi, Carmen. Eventually. Wait, you mean yeah. like how you and I were good friends? You always have to bring that up. We will be great friends, you'll see. Guess what? I okay. made a new friend last night. How about the very first one? A shortcut video on why I wasn't sleeping well. They're editing as if they live in 2008, but this was uploaded in 2019. I can see why no one's talked about this yet. 
She's a Barbie girl in an online world. Okay, so it's very obviously someone trying to make an ARG video, I guess, or unfiction video. By the way, last time we did this fucking stream, nobody corrected me. I kept saying unifiction. Unfiction, right? Uh, I'm just, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep calling it unifiction for you fuckers. Because you guys didn't correct me. We're gonna call that on for, for forever now. It's just gonna be unifiction. Alright, so this person's trying to obviously make some sort of unifiction by herself. There's probably no puzzles to it. It's just like a story she wants to make. Um... I don't know if I like it. It's not really interesting to me personally. Anyways. Univision and Telemundo Bueno. <laughs> Check Three Drowned on YouTube. It's a creepypasta miniseries, and I remember looking at it when I was younger. Sure, but let's check this out first. Isn't that a, isn't this specifically a fetish, by the way? Like, putting plastic shit on your face? That's the thing I don't want to, like, really delve into too much. It's just, like, this is clearly someone's fetish, and I'm not sure if I'm, like, turning Hello, someone on by watching this. Would you like to hear some jokes? Latex? What? No, 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 no. no. It's, it's called masking. I think it's called masking. Uh, it's, it's literally you put on a mask of a doll. And, uh... Spelling me. It, it just turns them on. Dreams fetish. I forgot how the song goes. What an asshole. He really thought he could sing Dream. What what made him think? Why does he think he th can think? All right, I'm bored of this. What's next? Play the dream song, sure. He only made one song, right? Oh God, he made another one? Please tell me. Please tell me he didn't actually make it. Yo, why don't you motherfuckers make this for me? How many are, how many are in, how many are watching right now? Over 550 people are watching. Why the fuck haven't you guys made cringy music for me? What did- you know what? This fucking parasocial relationship is over, motherfuckers. Until someone makes me a song. God damn it. <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't fucking do that. I would actually ban you. Oh, here it is, the mask song. Wait, re-uploaded. Did he take it down? Is it not up anymore? Here is your song. I feel like I'm gonna get copyright if I actually listen to this, so I'm not gonna to. Did he take it down? He actually took it down? No, he didn't. Oh, here it is, see? Oh, no, he... Well, he took down the music video. But he didn't take down the song. He did take down the music video. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, that's that's uh that's embarrassing as fuck. What's your opinion on iceberg Bruh. videos? I think they're fucking fantastic. I've seen so many iceberg videos and I've binged through so many of them. They're all wonderful. And you know what's wonderful about iceberg videos is that everyone can make one because n nobody in this world is specialized in so many things that they can make multiple 
iceberg videos. Like, I've seen iceberg videos of Mortal Kombat, of Warframe, World of Warcraft. I've even seen shit of, like, BTS and, like, the K-pop fandom. I've seen icebergs of fucking creepy manga and different, like, TV shows that were banned. And all of them were made... Would you shut the fuck up? And all of them were made by different people. She actually got louder as I was talking, like I was talking over her. I was just trying to talk. Not everything's about you. But yeah, no, like, they're all made by different uh, people. That's the crazy part. I want to watch that horror manga iceberg. People want some icebergs, I guess. Alright, fuck it. Since we're not really getting... Uh, let's look at the squirrel lady. If this squirrel lady makes me want to fucking die... We're not watching any more of your suggestions. It's over. You guys blew it. How is this related to squirrels? Alright, no. I, as soon as I fucking heard that Morse code being beeped at us, I, I said no more. Fuck that. Alright, exactly. What is this? Meat product life mate. Analog horror short film. Me. Okay. But I swear to God, guys, if... I'm seriously thinking about banning analog horror from these streams. If I see a picture of a man, or, or if I hear a phone call in this video, or, or like a, the fucking photo, realistic photo of someone... I'm done. We're done. Delicacy if I see anything inspired by Mandela Effect or or Many fucking Walton Files, meals we're done. Have meat in some capacity. Like a this isn't even analog horror. This is like eight millimeter meat horror. Meat mashed potatoes on the side and Why is it called analog? Oh, whatever. Or I guess it's see delicious hamburger at the summer barbecue. It's certainly hard to beat. But there is a problem. We can enjoy meat forever. Recent studies have found that, if not tackled, let's soon, enjoy it. The world's meat supply chain will fail. Eight millimeter is analog. You're right. Thirty years. It counts. I just don't. You know what? But when we talk about analog horror, do you really think they think that's what that is? Do you think they know that eight millimeter can be analog? No, they just associate analog with old. That's it. So after all the world's meat is gone, what then? Surely there must be something we can do in order to... Have I watched the Mandela Catalog meat. parody by uh, Senor Pello? Well, no. We here at Universal Food Should I? Solutions I don't want to. ...have developed that solution to tackle the impending loss of all the world's meat. Introducing Life Meat. Meat made with no meat. After years of research, development, and testing, we have created a solution that will allow us to continue savoring the sensation of meat long after it's all gone. Depending on what you're looking for, life meat comes in a variety of forms for you This is the from. shit that they're selling in North Korea. Man, when I made that North Korea video... This is the shit. Canned or sealed... Oh, this is 3D! Provides everything you need I mean, obviously, but yeah, but it looks 3D. It's nice, have. though. It looks disgusting, by the way. Unlike conventional meat, which is highly inefficient and is limited in supply, life meat can not only be produced much more quickly and in higher quantities, <laughs> it's also healthier. That's the cow screaming. 
Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna fucking rip someone's head off. I'm gonna fucking shit my fucking pants. Oh, so now it's a VHS tape? So now it's a fucking VHS tape? We went from 8mm to a VHS tape? Is that what's happening now? We just suddenly converted? We up res now to a VHS tape? Oh, what now? Is this like copied over someone's real murder footage? Even though it's like a fucking, I don't know, commercial. I don't know what it is, a commercial? It just tastes better. Oh, now we're back to the 8mm even. So good and widely Probably isn't even 8mm. They don't fucking know what it is. 40mm. So why not try life meat today? We guarantee a better, healthier, tastier, and I'm gonna no fucking compromise shit. alternative to conventional meat. Life meat. Available now at supermarkets everywhere. How am I gonna get immersed in this shit? It's a it's 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 a nitpick probably, right? But it's the craziest fucking nitpick that you can possibly do, right? Hey goose. If you're looking for cool iceberg videos, I recommend the channel Pigpen. I highly well, I recommend his icebergs on cryptids and Lego. I understand. I really okay. Those too. I get you guys want to watch iceberg videos. The thing is, is that I've, I've been saying this for since the start of my streams. I don't like watching other people's videos. I like I don't mind watching this. Right. Because this is just like short films or creepy whatever films that don't really have like anything associated with them they're like a one and done deal the thing that i have a problem with is going to other legitimately like legitimate content creators channels and reacting to their videos right and for some reason nowadays people seem to be doing react videos everywhere like they don't care anymore like even though this was a huge controversy like six years ago and we made fun of people who did react channels now, all of a sudden, everyone's a fucking React channel. Because it makes money, believe it or fucking not. That's why people do it now. So, I, I just don't want to... I don't want to be a fucking hypocrite and just do that. Like, I get it. You guys want to watch Iceberg videos. But unless I get permission from these fuckers, from the people who make them, or, like, from someone directly, I don't, I don't want to watch them. Because I'm taking their ad revenue. And I don't feel good about that. Everyone does it now. You know, and I'm not going to name names. It's been it's been like this for six years, but now more popular people are starting to do it because, hey, they realized I could make a 40 minute long video of me editing something and doing research on something. Or I could make a five minute video of just me talking about a video where I don't even say anything. And I just go, that's crazy. You know, it's it, I, I just feel I just feel weird about it. Bro, that's crazy. But anyways, it's my biggest nitpick about this sort of stuff is that it's just the format. The format's just all different. Thanks for having some integrity. Hey, thanks for the bits. Um, yeah, the format, the format is is that that that's just my problem with these analog horrors is that they go from. It's just so hard to explain. It's such a unique problem to analog horror is that they go from, like, footage from the 50s to now we're back in the 90s, motherfucker. And it's like, how, do you, how, does, that, how does that conversion even happen? Like, look, look, the filter is even different, right? So we have this VHS, like, fuzz. And then we're, we're back here and we have, like, film grain. What? There is a problem. See, we have like film grain overlaid by VHS, that, if not that like soon, noise. Meat chain will fail it it just makes me feel weird. Anyways, because VHS fuzz equals scary. Oh, sorry. I just realized that this shit is loud. That song was perfect. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just rambling about old shit and <laughs> going back into the past. Oh, God. Most people that make analog are Zoomers. That's why. I know. I know. And, and I, I encourage it. 
I encourage it fully. I don't mind younger people making horror based on stuff that I grew up with, but get it right. Right? I am enthusiastic about analog horror still, despite my many gripes with it. Because I can see a new generation who's very enthusiastic about making new shit and being genuinely good about it sometimes. And I, I think that's wonderful. I love that. I, it's like a nostalgic trip that never happened. Like, I'm, I'm in my older years and I get to see the shit that I grew up with suddenly become an interest to other people. And that's wonderful. But I just want them to do it right. That's all. That's all. Yeah, a lot of analog horror indie games surprisingly get it right. And do you know why? It's because there's no editing errors. That's why. Sorry to spam, but I actually have something. Cool, eerie animation with not a lot of views. Also, brain job is good. It, bro, it's got... You, the video you sent me is not available. Flower Fox. The video you sent me that you want me to watch is not is not working, bro. That like I don't I don't know what happened. <laughs> Bootleg's already giving me an iceberg. We haven't even listened to the ma uh, the the fucking mask song. Hold up. Is this the song that goes whoa? Right. Didn't mean to frustrate you with that video. Personally, I thought it was good, but I admit that you have some really good... No, listen, listen. Don't... Listen. You guys give me great videos all the fucking time. And even if you give me a video that I don't personally like, I still very much appreciate you giving me that video. Like, don't ever feel bad about giving me videos, whether they're good or bad. The fact that we can actually talk about it is fucking great. I love talking to you guys about this shit anyways. I, I, don't, I don't mind if it's bad or not. I, I just like... Watching yeah. stuff with you. It doesn't matter if it's good or not. So don't ever, don't ever feel sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. Um, what else? Sent the wrong link. Okay. Mannequin. Oh. Is this Animal Crossing? Dude, my mouth is so dry. How do people find- How do you- Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. How the fuck do you guys find this shit? That's the thing me and Jelly talked about, like, I think one time after we streamed or uh, after I made a video about someone's certain suggestion. How the fuck do you guys find this stuff? Because I, I'm into this sphere, right? I'm into this spooky sphere. Where do you all... Reddit? Just Reddit? I know Reddit has some really obscure shit. That's why a lot of people make Reddit videos all the time. Luck and knowing the right places, yeah. It's, it's usually Reddit, because that's where I find some of my spooky shit, too. S search creepy... No, 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 that doesn't work. You don't, you can't just look up creepy videos on YouTube and expect to find actually good. You can find creepy videos, but it's the same one that everyone's watching. I forgot that I have therapy. I'm going to have to go soon. Don't be sad about that. Get your therapy, bro. It helps. All right? Don't, don't worry. I'll upload this on my second channel. If you're not subscribed already, go subscribe. So, don't worry. It'll be there. Uh, yeah, all right. We're missing... Left arm missing, right hand melted. I think she's in there. With a bit of work, I really think she could be it. What days am I streaming? I still haven't decided yet. I'm I trying to do three times a week. Thing. So just keep an eye out on the YouTube channel. I do love this art style a lot. It reminds me of Animal Crossing though, so I don't know if that's intentional. Oh. What's up, Biru? I'm invested. <clears throat> 
What is TTS? Oh, text-to-speech? Oh, I fucking love text-to-speech so much. Oh, what the fuck? Did I miss something? I love this art, by the way. I really, really, really love this art style so much. <clears throat> like, I understand the animation is jank. It doesn't have really any in-between frames. But the technicalities aside, I really fucking love looking at it. <clears throat> oh, is that her? She saw herself. <clears throat> Can you guys see the text, by the way? There's supposed to be, like, subtitles here. Not all the time, but sometimes. The stream is very enjoyable to me, despite an ear infection I'm currently suffering from. Keep up the good work. Thanks! Ear infections suck. I hope you get that taken care of. Wait, you have an ear infection and you're giving us the loudest noises possible, motherfucker? You can't even hear what you're sending us. That's super lit. That's a motherfucker that keeps sending the screams. Right, Biru? Exactly. What's up, Biru? What's up? What? Oh, you can't get down. Oh, she can't get down. Here you go. Can't get down. Go. You can get down now. <clears throat> All right. Wait, Joel fan spotted? Why? Wait, why? By the way, I love this. Uh, it was really well done. Whoever sent this, awesome. Uh, let's send it in the chat. So y'all can save that and like it. Give it some love. Don't post anything inappropriate in the comments, please. I like this. <sighs> Alright, I think you might like this. Sure, let's see. Uncanny Ramen. Made your account in July 7th last week. Happy <laughs> that probably freaked them out like, What the fuck? How do you know that I made my account on July 7th? Like, you just click on your video. Meat Farms oh, has an channel. exciting new opportunity. Oh, we've seen this. I thought this shit was company. funny. Our research and development department is always working on exciting new innovations, and we're looking for volunteers to test them out. Rest assured that these are simple, harmless tests that are completely 100% safe. Yeah, we've seen this before. We watched this like last year or a couple of months ago. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's last year actually. It's it's been a while. These COVID years sort of, like, blur together. Anyways, I love this. Uh, we already watched this. I'm not going to watch it again. I uploaded the reaction to my second channel, so just watch it there. Have they made anything since last year? No, nah, it's pretty much been the same. Oh! No, yeah, we watched this. Did we? I actually don't remember. Let's just let's just start from the beginning. The music is really good, yeah. Hi, I'm Ramona Bynes, founder of Happy Meat Farms. Ever since I was a little girl, I was an animal lover, and I'm so proud to have created a place where animals can be treated right. Okay. <clears throat> let me let me point something out, right? My biggest complaints with these kinds of videos, or rather with horror videos in general, and mainly analog horror, is that the formatting and uh, everything is, like, wrong, right? Now, there's a difference between taking your thing seriously and trying to be as accurate as possible and just missing the mark, versus this, which is just very clearly goofy as fuck, balls to the wall, 
let's just show them crazy visuals and funky ass music and just go wild with it. I don't mind that at all. I think it, it really adds to the flavor of it. In case you ever wonder why I like this compared to other videos that are similar like this, like the fucking meat thing that we just saw and, you know, it just sort of didn't hit the mark for me. Bye, Poisoy. Enjoy therapy, okay? Don't, don't be bummed out. You're gonna get better. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Don't look at anything. Okay, <clears throat> people keep mentioning this. Yes, it is part of the SpongeBob ARG. I don't know how the fuck they're related. So don't ever ask me. I just know that they're related. Ooh, the whole room. I love this one. The hair room. Okay, if you're bald, you're balding. Bald! You're fucking bald, Asmongold. You're bald! Okay, flesh room. That's cool. The rat room. There's a rat in here somewhere. The room with the yellow <laughs> I fucking love this shit, man. Ooh, they got oh they got Sonic fan art. Sonk the blue rat. It's not Sonic. Hey, the half horse room. He's fine. The pink room. That's cool. I thought that was from the fucking video. The birthday room. Happy birthday! We're almost there. It's, it's like I'm getting a tour in like the most cursed part of Sesame Street. Oh my god. Those are dogs? Bye. Feel free to pet the dogs. Oh, okay, except for that one. Trauma Core. Ooh, Trauma Core. That's a nice genre. Is that real? Yeah, we've never seen this, by the way. I forgot to mention. We've never seen this. Ooh, the sensor room. That that that's a testicle. Hey all, Scott here. I uh, kind of love this. No, it's fucking awesome. <clears throat> I always love the Happy Me Farms uh, videos. They're always really well done. Trauma Core and Weird Core. I know I'm subscribed to Weird Core on TikTok. Like I I would just watch a bunch of. Weird core shit, and they always get recommended to me, but I didn't know Trauma Core was a thing. Ooh. Is that CG or is that like uh, Adobe After Effects right there? <clears throat> it's a fucking blobfish. <clears throat> That's a whole testicle right there. Pulsating testicle. You spelled testicle wrong, by the way. Sorry. Garlic zombie. 
Welcome to the nutsack room. Mother is pleased. Thank you so she much mother? for supporting us at Happy Meat Farms. Is that who Mother We're is? So glad to have you as a part of our family, and we hope to see you again soon. It's not me. Oh, it's not okay. Well, it's not her. She she confirmed it. Okay, that was cool. Just to clarify, by the way, because I know someone is gonna be a smartass and be like, "Why isn't Goose reacting to those videos, but he could react to these videos?" There's two things I don't mind reacting to. Videos that have a lot of views and videos that aren't made by content creators. This is both. Okay, the guy's just making a series. He's not like a, a guy in front of a camera making shit, you know? This is just gonna be a one and done sort of thing. I just want to clarify because I know there's gonna be a lot of smart asses that are gonna be like that. What the fuck is this? You want more of this? Well, go watch This Place Is Not Happy. Subscribe to their channel. They're gonna... Pretty sure they're probably... If I'm correct, they're probably gonna come out with a new video either this month or next month. Because it seems like their time frame is about two to, th uh, two to four months, maybe? Trauma Core is an aesthetic. It's like Weird Core. It's coping mechanism. Oh, shit! Oh, so Trauma Core is like something... It's actually like really drama. Trauma, sorry. Uh, okay. Don't know if this is really scary, but I don't know. It's Japanese, so that's pretty spooky. Alright. Yeah, uh, not bad. I used to be scared of those kinds of things, I'll be honest. What the fuck is this? Wait, wait, wait. I just want to watch a few more. Just before we get to the iceberg. Oh, what the fuck is this? It's so cool. What is this? Can pork you gel? 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 Oh, the monument mythos? No way. I'm not gonna do monument mythos. This is too much dedication. Can pork you gel? 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 All right, I'm kind of bored of this. Uh. What's this? Vol Saharian Archive? I don't know what that is. I don't even know how to copy. Vosaharian. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh! Project Colcanth 7753. So, what is this all about? Jeff the Rapper? We found the original Jeff image. So, okay, somebody said that there was an update to the uh, Jeff the Killer image. I'm gonna be honest. If we're gonna talk about that real quick, I'm pretty sure we can't. We'll, we'll never find the original image because, from what I heard personally, it's it's from a live stream of a woman, uh, and I I'm pretty sure that image is like gone, and that stream double gone. So, whatever you think might have been solved. Probably wasn't, but I'll still I'll still try and find I'll still look at it if you have a photo of it. Wait, pause the read before I start the video. Oh God, whoops, too much. Before I start with this video, here's a small side note from me. For the past couple of weeks, there was a lot happening around the structure of Project Colcanth and beyond. You can't imagine the current happenings around the world quite hugely affect the different. Boss McCool houses. I can't even. Like I have addressed in the past, the passing of Garen left a big scar on the structure of our system. Hey, thanks for the 100 bits. GBs, lol. Uh, it took us quite some time to find a reasonably good replacement for Garen's task, and we found one. A woman named Sasha. She will be responsible for maintaining the overall structures of Department 7753 concerning YouTube and the web itself. So once again, lots of things have changed, but we try to keep the changes as subtle as possible so you won't notice much, hopefully. Kisto. 
Why, why'd you put that music on while I was reading? There are even more ways to find out who you truly were. All right, this is 11 minutes long, so it better be a good 11 minutes. Not bad. Ready, beer? Go get it. I might actually need to change your litter. So you might need to give me a moment. Why don't you guys go ahead and watch this for like just a, oh fuck for just like a minute? All right. Uh, I, I have to change beer's litter, so beer back. All right, not a very good uh, auditory experience. I have no idea what the fuck was happening at all. So, uh, the, uh, the, fuck this. All right, next. Why don't we just go ahead and uh, wrap this up with uh, the iceberg? Oh, by the way, I heard that we got two new subscribers. Who did I miss? Oh, you, uh, Jeebles Lull gifted to Cake Bake 01 and Babble Dob. Congrats, y'all. Boring uh, video. Yeah, it was not that great. I have no idea what the fuck is happening because I was just listening to it for the whole time. <clears throat> so. Oh, thanks for the five bucks. Wishing y'all the best with the move. Thanks. Love you. Uh, I got to pull up Bootleg's profile every time we talk about this stuff. Is it this one? We left off at quite a rut. Now, this one can be a, a little slow, so we really got to find good, wholesome family values and good, like, spooky stuff here. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go all the way down. Sorry. i I'm just been too curious. What the fuck are the dem dem demolition elves? What the fuck are the demolition elves? We have to find out what these are. Five Fortnite YouTubers who sworn. We gotta find out. Let's close all these, by the way. No! What? Are you fucking serious? Nothing? Nothing at all? 
Are you... I've been waiting for this day. Demolition Elves Obscure Legend? Well, we're just gonna look it up ourselves. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, I haven't... I'm holding Biru shit in my hand. Uh, just look, give me a sec, all right, Biru? Oh, all right. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> you know what else is back? You guys know what's back, right? Come on. You guys know what's back. <clears throat> all right, Demolition Elves. It's a name given to global apparitions... By the way, let me... This fucking, these ads. Sorry, bro. I gotta put ad blocker on. Alright. Oh, they're still there. Okay. That's not an ad, actually. It's part of the sidebar. This is horrible. How do I get rid of it? Okay. <coughs> Demolition Elves is the name given to global apparitions, diminutive beings seen directly before or after mass disasters, resembling... Creatures of European folklore like gnomes and pixies, they are sometimes seen in conjunction with more contemporary phenomena such as UFOs. They have allegedly been see uh, sighted worldwide on significant occasions, seen by multiple people at the same time. Man, fuck this noise. Alright, they have allegedly been sighted in the United States. Demolition elf folklore is relegated to the fringes of the historical record. So is this real? I mean, obviously... Fucking elves responsible for 9 11 aren't real. But can we see like evidence of demolition elves? <coughs> elves did 9 11. Damn it, I, I really wish there was like photos of these demolition elves in 9 11. Well, there, there he is! There he is! The elf! Holy shit, they're real! <coughs> the demolition elf, look, it's TNT! Oh my god. Am I gonna get banned for this? Am I seeing too much? Alright, falling in love with your gang stalkers. Oh my fucking god. That's beautiful, but it's not a clickable link. We were just talking about gang stalkers. I, what? What does that mean? Telural magnet, uh, magnetic conspiracy towards the sun. No, hyper finality. What the fuck is this? Nuget? Nuget? I don't even know how to say that. Oh Jesus. Fuck is that? All right, nine seven three at Namu. Oh, we've been to this website, haven't we? Please consider with me an open mind and an uncreased heart. I have something to announce. For the past year, my senses have been throttled. What had hitherto been too unseen, the cyclical motion of nuggets and their collective array of jingling meat sauces. Living in the world as we meet beings know it. Ectogenesis. <clears throat> meat, for lack of a better word, is outside of the fishbowl. Think of it this way. Excited meat lathers itself onto concrete surfaces, tingling with an extraordinary, almost innate curiosity, similar to how a moth hugs a light. 
meets blind spots lies in the abilities for self-control. Two meat beings engaging in subtle meat mashing is nothing new. But why have we never thought to stop ourselves? The truth is that mashing in the world is pure, unbridled act of faith. Whisk away by the seductive allure of a meaty nugget. Or is it nougat? <clears throat> Most don't even realize that they're moving along hurriedly in a quickly collapsing circle. Our faculties of reason virtually reach their limits when we are forced to ask ourselves questions about the Nugetian cycle <coughs> and the powers that be. This is no accident. The Nugetian cycle is hard to explain in meat words. In our reality, a mere school morph of what is really reality, mind you. Things are specifically designed as to prevent meat beings from knowing too much. Meat linguistics are not are no blessings to Gnosis. They are, in and of themselves, obstacles to overcome. Locked in thousands of mental prisons at once, once brief, fleeting existences, meat slaves tend to be a sad one. But it does not have to be. Meat exit is possible, but extensive spiritual training is needed to transcend the Nugeshian firmament. Please. If you no longer want to be com uh, complicit in this twisted meat cycle, contact me. But first, a warning. This is not an endeavor for the faint-hearted. Passive participation that waxes and wanes with meat emotions and meat moods will not be sufficient. Breaking the condition that requires 100% and anything else less than that will not be enough. Thank you. Is he just, does he just want to fuck? Is that all this comes down to? He just wants to oh, fuck? I don't even know what, like... What the fuck, right? But, like... Remember Smurf porn? I remember Smurf porn. I don't have that saved anymore. I think that that... <clears throat> that little live stream is gone forever. I used to be really, uh, like, really bad at keeping up with smurf oh sorry <laughs> i was about to say keeping up with smurf porn i was really bad at keeping up with streams uh and i think a lot of my streams from the past are just gone forever so we can reread it if you want do you guys want to reread smurf porn someday <clears throat> if you don't know what I'm talking about, by the way, this is probably very confusing. <clears throat> if you don't know what I'm talking about, somebody gave me a link to these forums of, like, people who love the Smurfs. Now, here's the thing. They don't love them in, in a sense that, like, you know, pornographically. <clears throat> they just love Smurfs. Like, the show, the TV, the brand, the whatever. But somebody came up with, like, this fanfic of these smurf babies and these smurf babies get like fucking tortured they get like spanked they, they there's like images there's like actual drawings of these like smurf babies like shitting their pants and like peeing themselves and like it's very graphic it's very graphic it was smurf baby torture porn it was really bad it actually gets deeper than that. There's like a whole lore of like Smurf freedom fighters. Like people who want to like Smurfs that want to free other Smurfs from being exotic pets. It, it gets weird. Why does everyone keep saying TED Talk? What TED Talk? What, what TED Talk are you talking about? <clears throat> TED Talk, please. What? The, what? What? what, what? TED Talk, there is nothing incident. Okay. Is this it? <clears throat> Alright. TED Talk, there is nothing incident. I only know this one secondhand from a friend who lived in the area of said TED Talk. And apparently it's becoming a, quite a local urban legend. <clears throat> almost all, if not all, what? Almost all, if not all, 
official documentation of the incident has been purged or highly classified for reasons you will see. Can I can I zoom in? I can barely read this shit. I'm old. I'm old. <clears throat> An extremely promising young physicist was scheduled to give a TED talk at his community college in his hometown. Something about the concept of zero, not in a sense of new, uh, numerics, but an absolute null, and its relation to existence itself. About an hour after the talk was about to end, the campus security guard was sent to go check on the auditorium as friends and families of the attendees started calling the school, stating that they have no contact with them. <clears throat> when the faculty looked into the room, there was nothing but a soul-sucking blackness in this place. They contacted the cops who turn uh, contacted the FBI who in turn contacted whatever agency is meant to deal with metaphysical threats. The official story of the family. Sorry, Beer, what are you what's going on here? Alright. The official story for the families of the loss is that the physicists tried to perform a demonstration involving radioactive materials that went terribly awry and immediately killed anyone present. This was a convenient uh, as the campus would be condemned and the bodies would be deemed contaminated by radioactive residue, therefore too dangerous to be shown to relatives or given a traditional burial. Nowadays, the campus is surrounded by a mile-wide perimeter of fence and razor wire. Even some post-structuralists like Deluge have a lot of pretty strange concepts you can make another iceberg with some of his books. <clears throat> there was body without organs, universal depth, and rhizomatex. What? What? Wait. What? The moral of the story is that go uh, is go to university and you'll end up making memes on lunch break at Burger King. This is just a lie. Uh, and a Torah, thanks for subscribing. Anyways, is not how radiation works, yeah. <clears throat> I'm assuming that all these are just kind of lame. Because, uh, yeah. I said so. God died in there. Oh, yeah, did you hear that? <clears throat> About 10 years ago, I was a facilitator at a nature center. At one end of our exhibit hall, there was a giant clamshell that measured about four feet across. I was guiding a group of kindergartners through the exhibition area when a, oh Jesus, when a little boy pointed the clamshell and said casually, God died in there. It was a weird comment, but I didn't think much of it until another child made the exact same comment about six months ago. Within the three years that I held the job, is this is Biru sniffing the mic by the way. In the three years that I held the job, five different, oh my God. Okay, well, I can't read it because beer's in the way. Five different kids looked at the clamshell and stated God died in there. Anyways, uh, always worded the exact same way. We, the kids, were all four to six years old. <clears throat> they did not go to the same school or the same church. As far as I can tell, they didn't know one another at all. I think it might be a reference to a book or cartoon, but I can't find Any thoughts? Sorry, I accidentally muted the mic. <clears throat> this happened to my buddy Eric too. Can you get a photo of it? Alright, no bother. <clears throat> I wonder if it's related to a religious book series called God's Lessons about a chatty clam. What? Uh, <clears throat> I can't read that shit at all. Okay. Schizophrenic. No, what the fuck? 9-11 footage next. Oh, actually, I know a place we can go. Fuck this thing. I'm getting bored of it anyways. Let's go to the Unsolved Mysteries uh, subreddit. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
So, the reason I wanted to bring this up is because there was a very interesting case that I wanted to make a video on, but I don't know if I will anymore. But there was this guy who had new 9-11 footage that was sort of suspect because this guy is like a, a, a FBI agent or whatever, but he never released the, the video ever until like this year. Oh, I can't find it though. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, and it was also posted, you're right, it was also posted on the same day of the Ukraine invasion. <clears throat> find it anymore oh well but yeah that was interesting let's see what we have here oh god Biru's acting up she's making a mess she's making a mess what do you think happened to Emma oh my god what are the biggest like oh Jesus Christ what is she doing Biru no because I paid for this painting Oh my god. Why is she just like playing with this cup? I don't know what's going on. Pepsi number fever? What the fuck is Pepsi number fever? I can't even read it. Oh. Well, there's that. <clears throat> Anyways, also known as the 349 incident was a promotion held by Pepsi in the Philippines in 1992 which led to riots and the deaths of at least five people. How can you fuck up that much? In February 1992, Pepsi Philippines announced that they would print numbers ranging from 001 to 999. Inside the caps, crowns, of Pepsi, 7-Up, Mountain Dew, Miranda Bottles, certain numbers would be redeemed for prizes, which range from 100 pesos <coughs> to 1 million pesos for a grand prize, Equivalent to approximately 23 years of earning 118 pesos per day, the minimum wage in Philippines at the time. Pepsi allocated a total of $2 million for prizes. Marketing specialist Pedro Vergara based Pepsi number fever on similar moderately successful promotions that have been previously in Vergara's geographic area of expertise. <clears throat> okay. It was widely successful and made the shares go up from 4% to 24%. Winning numbers were announced on television nightly, but by May, 51,000 prizes were redeemed, including 17 grand prizes. That's incredible. Okay. Okay. Number 349. Here we go. On May 25th, the nightly ABS CBN Channel 2 news broadcast announced that the grand prize number for that day is 349. Grand prize winning bottles were tightly controlled by PepsiCo. Two bottles with caps with that day's num uh, winning numbers printed inside of them, as well as the security code for confirmation had been produced and distributed. However, because of a computer error, eight, 800,000 regular bottle caps have also been printed with the number 349, but without the security code. Theoretically, these bottle caps were cumulative, uh, cumulatively worth $32 billion dollars, Thousands of Filipinos rushed to Pepsi uh, bottling plants to claim their prizes. PCPPI, that's a mouthful, initially responded that the erroneously printed caps did not have the confirmation security code and therefore could not be redeemed. After an emergency meeting, <clears throat> uh, PepsiCo and Pepe Pepe -pe -pe at 3 a.m., the company offered 500 pesos to holders of mistakenly printed bottle caps as a gesture of goodwill. This offer would be accepted by holy fucking shit. F holy shit. 400, almost 500,000 people at a cost of PepsiCo of $8.9 million or 240 million pesos. Many irate 349 bottle cap holders refused to accept PCPBI sentiment. They formed a consumer group the 349 Alliance, which organized a boycott of Pepsi products and held rallies outside the office of PCPPI and the Philippine government. Most protests were peaceful, but three PCPPI employees were killed by a grenade 
thrown into a warehouse in Davao, and a mother and child were killed in Manila on February 13th, 1993, by grenades thrown at a Pepsi truck. Where the fuck did we, where the fuck did they get the grenades? Oh my god, my eyes hurt. Ugh. Where the fuck did they get grenades? Do they have guns in the Philippines? If if they, if they don't, then where the fuck did they get the grenades? Okay. <clears throat> PCPPI executives received death threats. As many as 37 company trucks were damaged by being pushed over, stoned, or burned. Some accused PepsiCo of hiring mercenaries to stage the attacks. Why would they do that? In order to frame the protesters as terrorists, then Senator Gloria Macapal Arroy, I can't say their name, sorry, however, suggested that the attacks were being perpetrated by rival bottlers attempting to take advantage of PCPPI's vulnerability. Jesus Christ. PCPPI appealed the decision. Sue would reach the Supreme Court, which ruled to, in 2006 that PCPPI is not liable to pay the amount printed on the crowns of their holders, nor is it liable for the damage thereon, and that the issues surrounding the 349 incident have been laid to rest and must no longer be disturbed in this decision. <clears throat> I, like, I do like that the senator was proposing the idea that there was a literal Pepsi-Coke gang war. I like that. No, it wasn't peaceful protesters gone wrong. It wasn't like some three protesters that just threw fucking grenades. It wasn't Pepsi hiring people. No, it was the fucking Pepsi Coke Wars, bro. Soda Smackdown. This is the SummerSlam, man. Fucking 349. <laughs> no way, bro. This is the SummerSlam of 1992. With real guns. Pepsi Man fuck uh, Pepsi Man fucks up yet again. Why do people like Coke? You guys are just inherently wrong. Alright. So that was that. Oh Jesus, I forgot about this. Human nuke theory, I love that. There have been singularities. These singularities are multi... The, the, okay, so... Here's the thing about this Unsolved Mysteries thing, is that... After a while, we went from, like, real sightings... To just, like, straight up... Rants from... Crazy people. Like, fucking nutsos. The mummy on the bed? This is probably fake, but I've seen a lot about the... Okay, fine. Oh, the creepy radio broadcast. We actually... Saw this a long time. I, I made a video on this, so uh, not gonna watch that. But yeah, it's it's interesting. It's probably not real. Uh, what else? I'll do a few more because I'm I'm starting to get tired, and I wanted to make this short, not like you know go on for another hour or so. Reaction videos with lost slash non-existent sources. What? <clears throat> Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Three orangutans in one blender? What? Okay. So, the theory goes is that people have made reaction videos of things that don't exist. And one of them happens to be of three orangutans, one blender. Is a non-existent shock video that has made uh, that many fake reactions to it on YouTube. Little is known about this allegedly uh, alleged video since only reaction videos exist of it. Uh, all of which contain the same soundtrack and audio of the said animals, as well as the titular blender-like sounds. However, there's no evidence of the actual video existing. Okay. How about this one? Let's see this one. Okay, so I just got this uh, really weird 
It's only a few minutes. Let's see. To something called three orangutans, one blender. Uh, so <coughs> I guess I'm gonna take a look at it now. See what this is all about. By the way, if you guys want to see the unsolved, uh, obscure unsolved mysteries iceberg, you can check it out yourself. I put it in the chat. Let me know if there's anything cool. This music, though, bops. A totally normal reaction. Oh no, the blender! The blender! No! No! Not the orangutan! His face looks like a clipbait reaction face. Three orangutans, by the way, not just like one. Three of them are getting fucked up by this one blender. How big is the blender? This is how this guy turned into a furry. What is this music? It's fucking making me feel like I'm going insane. Orangutan blended. Don't try at home. Oh, I'm sorry. Did... Do a video on Cannibal Holocaust? Do you want me to get fucking deleted off of YouTube? Why would I do one on, on Cannibal Holocaust? I will, but... Crazy suggestion. Well. Obviously, it's a it's a comedy video. It's a very obvious parody of a video that doesn't exist. But people did other people made reaction videos of just a video that doesn't exist. I feel like I'm gonna regret this if I look this up on YouTube. Okay, so. Uh <laughs> it's not fake. I saw it. It's real. No. Oh. 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 I love it. I love it. I love that everyone was in on this joke. That's funny. What is not a website? Ah, let's do a papa. Wah, wah, wah. All right, I'm going to do this real quick just in case I see nudity. Wait, how am I? Wait. So it's it's just like nothing? I can't speak fake languages like French. So what's up with this? The password is website. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna... Am I gonna get porn? There's nothing weird there. Okay. I trust you. Okay.
uh, three orangutans, one blender. Might want to read this. Uh, wait, what? Okay, there's one that says not safe for work. Okay. Hello, I was looking at this website with my friends and we found a lot more pages than before, so I wanted to give an update on this, uh, given that I saw multiple posts about this site that were made several years ago. Basically, you can enter multiple pages if you add uh, that page, insert word, on the color page uh, URL, the one that had the colorful table. Uh, here's some words that are confirmed to work. Okay. I'm just... Uh, thank you for subscribing, Maggot Meat Suit. Um... I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to look up the one with the the one called black. Let's see how not safe for work it is. Ah. We're not going to fuck with this. Uh, if you want. <laughs> We're not going to do that. If you want to check out the website yourself, you can, though. I'm not going to do it. How bad is it? Uh, it's just a dick entering a vagina, that's all. I don't, it, it's really nothing that special. But if there's that, then, you know, who's to say what else is, what else is there? You know, like, I'm not going to do that. But whatever. Um, I'll do one more. Jesus Christ equals clitoris healer. Oh my god, another- Okay, we went to this website already. They just cover all conspiracy theories, huh? Thank god they're short. Alright, a ludicrous new conspiracy theory doing the rounds online is claiming that the Romans never existed. Wait, we already saw this. Where's the- where's the clitoris healer? Wait, we already read this. Did anything come up with that website, which apparently has personal information and celebrities and stuff? I don't mean to keep saying about brain job, but it's good. I don't know what this is. Well, I guess let's start with the first one. Think you have a good memory? No. Count how many times the players in white pass the basketball. Is there gonna be like a gorilla that comes from the side and just like, oh, I'm a gorilla? The correct answer is nine passes. But did you see the gorilla? Oh my god. The gorilla appears with the blender. I actually didn't see a gorilla. I was like, closely, looking. I miss it. Oh my god! There he is! There he is! With the bro, oh, he's got the blender! He was made in blender. Holy shit. That was crazy. Did your eyes deceive you? I did not see that coming. Brain job. That sounds horrendously sexual. Mmm, pizza. So good. And tasty, too. Whether you like this stuff deep crust or thin dish. Oh man, I want some pizza. Can somebody cold. pay for me I'm to get a sure. pizza tonight? Now, you may consider yourself <laughs> to be a bit of a <laughs> What a fucking expect. loser I am. Don't yes, do that. Yes. Do you remember what this stuff is but do it. even for? A pizza. Memory. It's our brain's way of storing information, linking the past to the Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate that. That's good enough. Mr. Yes, cool Guy, the one. Slip up can easily fail us. If you've ever forgotten someone's name, for example, you she know how awkward that it can be when you have to it. ask them to fuck off. Wait, what'd you, you say, know? bitch? World. Yet one simple slip up can easily fail us. If you've ever forgotten someone's name, for example, you know how awkward it can be when you have to ask them to fuck off. Did you know? There's actually three kinds of memory. 
Start a piece of fun. Your short term, which can last up to 30 seconds. Long term, which can last up to a lifetime. And there's long term, which can last from 30 seconds to a lifetime. You've probably tested your short term memory before. If you've ever played a game Did with you say long term? Try it now. I'll give you 10 seconds to remember where the strawberry and hammer cards are. Time's up. Did you get it right? I bet you did. But that's mostly because this was impossible to get wrong. Whether our memories are good, so that's bad, not the point of the it, test, though. How can we be sure they ever That happen? wasn't the point the of the test. Show that though. our memories can get severely distorted throughout time. For example, I could have sworn that Cheerios V was holding a wet rack or ribs on the box. Memories form in the hippocampus and travel to the areas of the brain that they belong to. Other parts of your body can develop muscle memory if you repeat an This feels a bit like times. look around you. For example, once you learn how to ride a bike. Why does that sound familiar? What is that? Lance Armstrong has been trying to forget how to cycle for 50 years. This ARG is terrifying. This is not an ARG. Pop quiz. What is the name of the phenomenon that occurs when a temporary mental block prevents you from properly retrieving information? Alzheimer's. A. Tip of the tongue. B. Top of the tooth. C, front of the foot, or D, back of the breast. Well, I like feet, so front of the foot. It's the first one. Hint, it's the first one. If you struggle with remembering things, try using a mnemonic device. <laughs> you can use acronyms to remember that long me up. phrases with short letters. For example, this is how I remember my mother's birthday. <laughs> or not this, technique works this is not spooky! The Who the fuck gave me this? Is this supposed to be spooky? Some of us can remember things better than others, but this is in Spanish. Those born with a photographic memory. There are less than a hundred people on Earth with this ability, and I had the privilege to sit down with one. Of Some people are saying this Sonic gameplay video is terrifying. It's funny as hell to me. Every second oh every yeah! Oh yeah! I'm gonna stop this because it's just too good. Everybody subscribe to this motherfucker. I don't want to take up too much of their ad revenue, if they even have any. Uh, y'all check them out. That's funny. Whoever suggested that, fuck you, that's not scary, but it was still entertaining to watch. <laughs> Whoever sent this, I am in love with you. Look at this. Look at this. Seattle windshield pitting epidemic. Look at it. I'm looking at it. What do you want? What, do, what the fuck do you want, bootleg zone? What the fuck do you want? I'm looking at it. All right, what is it? Uh, all right, I'm enough. All right, wait. Uh, somebody said that there's a funny Sonic gameplay. We already watched this shit. This stupid fucking fart face tar ass. No. Enough of that. And we're not watching Monument Mythos. Uh, alright. Seattle windshield epidemic. I'm hungry as fuck, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave after this. Seattle windshield pitting epidemic. No, fuck this. I'm not gonna read a Wikipedia article. Let's actually do something. Give me, give me the spookiest thing y'all got right now. The article's actually... Alright, fine. Fine! Alright. And other communities of Washington State, considering an example as mass delusion, it was characterized. All right, uh, da, 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 da. it was originally thought to be the work of vandals, but the rate of pitting was so great that residents began to attribute it to everything from sand flea eggs to nuclear bomb testing. It was characterized by the widespread observation of previously unnoticed windshield holes, pits, and dings, leading to residents to believe that a common causative agent was at work. Uh, Originating in Bellingham in March, police initially believed that the work to be vandals using BB guns. However, the pitting was soon observed the nearby t uh, town of Cedra Woolley and Mount Vernon. And by mid-April, appeared to be spread to the town of Anago, uh, uh, Findalgo. Uh, within a week, the news of the so-called pitting epidemic has reached a metropolitan Seattle. As the newspapers began to feature the story, more and more reports of pitting were called in. Motorists began stopping police cars to report damage. Car lots and parking car, uh, garages reported particular severe attacks, particularly severe attacks. Uh, several hypotheses of the widespread damage was postulated. Some thought that new million watt radio transmitter at nearby was producing waves that caused physical oscillation in glass. That sounds so dumb. 
Dude, if you think that radio waves can do that much damage to fucking glass, imagine what it's doing to us as humans. So, no, it's not. Some believe it to be the work of cosmic rays. Equally stupid. Some reported seeing glass bubbles from form right before their eyes, believing it to be the work of sand fleas. What the fuck are sand fleas? By April 15, close to 3,000 windshields have been reported as affected. Mayor Alan Pomeray contacted Washington Governor, blah, 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 and then President Dwight D. Eisenhower asking for assistance. Finally, Sergeant Max Allison of the Seattle Police Crime Laboratory stated that the pitting reports consisted of 5% hoodlumisms and 95% public hysteria. Uh, by April 17, the pitting suddenly stopped. The windshield pitting epidemic, as it's called, has become a textbook case of collective delusion, not mass hysteria, as reported. Although natural windshield pittings have been going on for some time, it was only when uh, the media called public attention to it that people actually looked at their windshields and saw damage that they never noticed before. That is fucking hilarious. That's, But that's also really stupid. I love that. I love how stupid humans can just be. All right, last video of the night. Better be a good one. Hannah Ahsoka, give me it. In Phobos. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please put your hands together for Phobos. Is this a 30 minute long analog horror? What is this? I swear to God. We all enjoy, shall we say. What is Phobos? enough of you to ruin my musical and now you spread these unfounded lies please the audience trusts me they trust Phobos and I'm sure of it you speak of sowing chaos and there may be some validity to this well, I know fucking what Phobos is I'm just humanity. saying what is this what is this what is Phobos this admitting of this chaos surely takes true just add hot water and serve an easy task for mother you won't need the premiums of coupons with the cost of delightful Camel cigarettes. They are choice quality and spectacular tobacco. Well, this is nice and all, but I don't want to watch this. Um, what else? <laughs> what a way to make Goose's stream longer. Just send a 30-minute video. Works every time, gamers. <laughs> I, I didn't even realize. This is scary. Look at all this scary shit. Look at him. Look at all this scary shit. All of you motherfuckers. Asshole. I can name all of these, actually. Okay, so that's the mirror lady. That's a fucking fake ghost video. It's some bitch made, and it's it's just old as fuck. Ten years old. This is uh, Obey the Walrus. Uh, yeah, that's the walrus right there. This is Suicide Mouse. Yep. This is Coraline. This is uh, that ghost from the Amityville house. This is Herobrine. This is the that ad that spooks the shit out of you. That's Jeff the Killer. That's Jeff the Killer. That's Spoony. I forgot his name. Salad Fingers, right? Uh, that's just the fucking... What is this? This looks like just an old film. An old, like, movie. Oh, what's this? I actually don't know what this is. What is this? Does anybody know what this is? Does anybody know what this is? Okay, I don't know what that is. A woman. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is at all. This either. This is that one painter experiment, that guy who's like, oh, I'm gonna fucking put mold all over my face. This is, uh, don't hug me, I'm scared. That one video that's from the dark web, it's really not from the dark web, although it is mysteriously made by a dude who lost his costumes. Uh, well, he didn't make it, but he lost his costumes. This is a smile dog, dot PNG, the suicide squid. This is that eel from Mario 64. That's just a smile dog again. I hate this stupid ARG. This is my least favorite ARG ever. I forgot what it's called. That's how dumb it is. This is a YouTube channel who like try it. This is like ARG for normies. This is like so mainstream for a while. I, I hated this ARG so much with a passion. It was so boring. It was just like, 
Look at the picture. Ooh, oh, beep, 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 beep. Is that Morse code? Gasp. I don't know. Ooh, is there's numbers on the screen. Is that binary? <gasps> Gasp. I don't know. Flashes. I'm flashing light in front of the screen. Is that fucking Morse code? Duh, 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 duh. Oh, ooh, I hate it. It is my least favorite ARG. This uh, PlayStation without a disc. This is Anahago Ahorago. You know what it is. Ahagana Wahamaga, whatever it's called. This is that jump scare video. This is, hi, I'm Paul. Uh, some demon baby bitch. All right, next. Then we got Nicktoons. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ch Chesky Plushko. This is uh, the, 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 the fucking ca Candle Cove. Okay, we know that. That's uh, Happy Happy Joy Joy. It's some episode from Adventure Time. I don't care. This is Channel 666. This is SpongeBob. Uh, it's, oh my god, Nosferatu, that spooky character girl from the apartment from Courage the Cowardly Dog that one time they went to New York City. This is that fucking bee moth thing from, uh, the Spongebob. I know it's supposed to be a butterfly, but it's actually like a horsefly, and they're fucking horrifying. This is fucking Ness, you know, the G Gygus, you know, the final level. This is, uh, Strings, uh, that, that, that one Sesame Street thing that the guy who made Sesame Street thought was gonna be fun, but is actually terrifying as shit. Oh, return the slab. This is, uh, fucking, uh, when Burns turned into a fucking alien, everybody was like, uh, I come in peace. And it's, like, super scary. It scared the shit out of me as a kid. I hated it. Uh, from, it's from The Simpsons. Uh, this is, a uh, fucking Freaky Fred taking a shit. Uh, this is, uh, I'm not Stu. This is Rocco's Modern Life. I don't remember. I never watched the show. I hated it. This is Spongebob. This is that, oh, those pink elephants from the Dumbledore. What the fuck is it called again? The, the ear. The fucking elephant with the ears. And this is uh, that stupid kid from uh, Magic School Bus who's like, I don't want to go back home. I'm suicidal. And he fucking freezes his head when he's in Mars or like Mercury or whatever. Uh, <laughs> Dumbo, yeah. This is that fucking PS3 uh, commercial made by David Lynch. There's a one episode about Arnold where he's, like, afraid of growing old, I think. And then, like, that's the grandpa. He's, like, dead. Look, his jaw is gone. And, like, it's not even connected to the neck, which is great. This is that one stupid Kleenex commercial that every Japanese person thinks is cursed because they don't know English. This is, uh... Ooh, there is nothing. So, you know that one. Is this that Apple commercial? Is this Apple? I think it was the Apple commercial that was uh, is like 1984 parody. Uh, this is that Satan thing from the Mark Twain cartoon. There's uh, Undertale. Y'all know Undertale. That 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 is fucking freaky Marge or whatever her name is from Pee Wee's uh, Big Adventure. This is uh, Bart goes to hell. This is a PSA. A lot of people think it's a it's a real like short film of like ghosts. No, it's like a PSA of like what it's like to have drugs, you know, in your body. It's just like it's not that interesting. This is I, I can't tell what that is. I can't tell what that is at all. It's just like a blob. That's someone hitting the whip, hitting the groupie, the gruppy, whatever the fuck kids call dancing now. Uh, Michael Jackson Thriller. That's another PS3 commercial made by David Lynch because he's a dickhead. This... I don't know what that is. That is, uh, the, the... You're not perfect. This is a ghost that's so fake. It's so fucking fake. That's missing? No. This is another Pokemon. Dun, 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 dun. You know that one. This is, uh... Jesus. What is that? I forgot what it's called. Uh, the moon is not there. What is it? Ben Drown. Uh, that creepy fucking thing that made Pie break his foot. Uh, it's a Korean comic. Uh, this is supposed to be a cursed thing. It's not cursed. It's actually, it's actually kind of funny. This guy who made it is like a real artist, and he was like making up his own story. This is supposed to be like a princess in his story, but he just didn't know how to draw faces, so it's kind of shit. Uh, this is from Nickelodeon. This is, a, I'm assuming, an ad bumper or something. But this is Valve. And they made the Valve guy turn his head, and that shit was so fucking scary. Is anybody else scared of that shit? You are an idiot. Ha 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 It's a website that you pranked your fucking friends to logging on when you guys got into computers in elementary school. This is Foxy the Clown, obviously. Uh, the, the, this is a, a car heading towards this raccoon fellow. I'm just kidding. It's from regular show. That's the one. Hello, Gavna. 
It's fucking Goosebumps, the intro. That's a baby. Uh, another episode from Adventure Time. This is an ad for shoes. And it looks like they met a real angel, and that's what it was supposed to look like, but it's not. I don't know where this is from, actually. I really don't. I, I, I remember seeing this. I don't know where it's from. It's like from a Nickelodeon show, I think. This is, I think, the X-Files. Yeah, that's the X-Files. It looks like Trump! Doesn't it look like Trump? This is Trump when he dies. This is like the afterlife of Trump. Alright. Um, Pixar. I don't even know why Pixar is here. Alright, Giga Bowser. Uh, I don't even know why I'm going frame by frame. I could just stop. This Jack in the Box is about to get run over. Yep. Uh, that's THX. You know, the... Uh, that loud shit that I made a traumathon on. This is... What is this? Max Headroom? Oh, Jesus. My finger's starting to bust. Hold up. Oh, yeah. It's Freddie Mercury, uh, Johnny Jason, and uh, Michael from Shrek. This is Slender Man. And the error screens. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, you know, look at that. Uh, Donna, Adult Swim, there you go. All right, well, we got them all. We got them all. We did it. We won. We got the achievement. Uh, give me money for pizza. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. I'm getting really hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and get the fuck out of here. So, thanks, everyone, for joining. Uh, that was a lot longer than I thought, but I'm glad you guys joined. And I'm, I'm hoping you guys really enjoyed that with me. Uh, let's put some music on to celebrate the occasion of how cool we are and how our parasocial relationship is starting to grow and manifest uh, even further. Uh, uh, here it is. Music. All right. Well, wait, is it over? I told you guys it was going to be a short stream, but don't worry. I will be uploading this on the second channel. Let's see what Twitch channel is currently streaming right now. I actually, I will tell you, I did my Twitch homework. I went through a lot of streams uh, like a week ago because I was just curious who's on my recommended list and a lot of people seem really interesting. So I'm gonna give you guys uh, over to someone who probably deserves it. Let's see. I actually have a list. I have a list of people I wanted to rate. Hold on. Hold on. I, I appreciate the, the the raid suggestion bootleg, but I have uh, a list right here of people I do really want to raid. Let's see if they're streaming right now. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, actually. Uh, da -da. Let's see. Eh, why not Zix? Why not? Let's do him. Alright, this guy's a funny streamer. I liked watching him. He's doing games. He's doing Lego Star Wars. Is, is he still doing it? He seems to be in the title screen, so I don't know. I don't know. He looks like he's ending. Alright, let's see. What else? What's officially Whelm doing right now? I'm actually surprised. I still follow her. Oh, wait. I think there's someone else. No, I'm, I'm following officially then. Tell Biru goodbye for us. Coffee talk? Hmm. Alright, fuck it. We'll do officially well and why not? Alright, everyone, be nice. Be kind. Show some love. And, uh... I guess we'll see each other later, right? Uh, remember, if you missed the stream, I'll be uploading this on the second channel. I'll give you guys the link real quick to that. That screaming you hear is from the person we're about to raid. Alright, so... I'll say goodbye to Biru for y'all. I think she's asleep somewhere. I think she got tired of trying to annoy me, and now she's gone. But I'll tell her. Okay. Well, y'all enjoy. Y'all tune in. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Go to that channel. Go to my YouTube channel. Subscribe. And we'll, you'll see that 
this stream will be uploaded there probably tomorrow because it takes a long time to actually process like a two hour stream so yeah i love you guys a ton thank you guys so much for joining and thanks for the uh, donations and subs and everything that was a lot of fun that was a lot more fun than i thought it would be uh thank you guys a ton i'll see you guys later love you guys a ton i hope you like the garfield video that i'm gonna make soon all right all right bye enjoy the music <laughs>